what's good, Ron fam? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the series where we are making a cookbook together. In today's video, we're going to be adding another recipe to our Ron fam cookbook. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Ron fam cookbook, you can check this video out right here. It explains everything you need to know about it. But basically, my name is Ivan, better known as the Ramen King on the internet, and I've made over 300 random ramen recipes. So basically, the whole premise of this series and of this cookbook is taking your comments, the Ron fam nation, and turning it into an actual a recipe for anyone to make around the world. I already have one recipe entered into the cookbook. If you missed that video, you can also check it out over here. Or is it over here? I can't remember, whatever. Whatever pops up on the screen, you can check that recipe out right there. Now, first of all, I wanna thank all of you for leaving the comments on that video right there. I'm gonna be picking one of those for the next video after this one. But in today's video is gonna be an added selection from myself. So I was playing around with this whole idea of making a sandwich out of everything you would use to make a bowl of ramen. So take a second and picture this really quick. You want a bowl of ramen, but you don't want the soup of it, you feel you me? You also want a sandwich, but you don't want the breadness of it, you feel me? So why not take both of those combinations and put it together and you have something that looks like this. So I made this video for TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube Shorts and everyone seems to really love it, so I figured why not add that to the recipe book right here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I made this ramen Sandwich. And without further ado, let's dig in. Okay, Ron fam, you're gonna need a couple things. Grab you a pack of ramen. Doesn't really matter the flavor. I'm gonna use beef martyr chicken right here, but you can use any kind you want. Grab yourself two plates. I'm gonna explain why you need these plates right here. You're also gonna need like a cup of water. I put mine in this bowl right here, but you, you, you get the point. A cup of water. And what good is a sandwich if you ain't got some sort of meat on there? We're using some Trader Joe's smoked turkey breast right here. Grab yourself some cheese. I'm using provolone, some green onions, some good old butter. Grab you an egg. Oh, dang. I forgot about those broken ones in there. But yeah, you need, you need some eggs. And Ron fam, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and dig into this thing right here. Let me show you how to make this sandwich over here. So go ahead and open your pack of ramen. And we're going to split it right down the middle so we have two different halves. This right here is going to be your bread that you're going to use for the sandwich over here. Go ahead and place your plate perfectly that's not perfect whatever put your ramen in these two plates after you place them unevenly on the table right here all right so ron fam go ahead and add just a little bit of that water in there you don't want to add too much just enough to coat half of that little slice of the ramen so that it softens it just on one side and the other side is still hard so you can get that crunch and move these plates on over here let them sit for about like three to four minutes that should be just soft enough about that time right there so now we're going to prepare our topping so grab your green onions we're going to dice those things up right here now we're gonna move over to the stove, or in my case, we're gonna have this hot plate right here. Ignore the mess on now, use it all the time. Grab you a pot and we're gonna use this to basically toast our bread. This is about to look amazing right here. So go ahead and open up your butter and put some into the pan. There's really no measurement on how much butter you wanna use, just use a healthy amount. Go ahead and spread that thing around right there so you can go ahead and coat the entire pan. That's important. The whole pan needs to be coated with the dead, 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 dead butter. All right, so we drained the water from the ramen packet. You can't feel this, obviously, but this side is like really soft and this side is really, really hard. So we basically got what we were looking for right here. We're gonna take our ramen packet and season the soft side of the ramen so we can get that ramen-y taste once we get the sandwich cooking over here. So go ahead and do that on both sides that you had soaking right there. Okay, so go ahead and place both of them in the pan, soft side down so you can get that nice golden brown. Give it a little spin right here so the oil and butter or whatever you use can coat everything evenly. We're gonna go ahead and add our provolone cheese on top of these slices so the heat can rise up and melt that thing right there. All right, slide it off to the side and let it continue to cook. And did I mention you needed mayo for this recipe? You, you need some mayo. I'm using this Trader Joe's organic one. Now this is more of an optional. A lot of people don't like mayo. Use whatever spread you wanna use, but we're gonna use this mayo and mix our toppings inside so it's easier to apply to the sandwich. You can go ahead and sprinkle some of your ramen seasoning inside of it as well, just to trick your brains into thinking that it's not gonna taste a lot like mayo, even though it's still gonna taste exactly like mayo because mayo is powerful. Slide our sandwich slices back over here. Look at that cheese melted right there. Look how good it looks, bro. This is gonna be so freaking good. I can't wait to eat it. Give it one more spin to collect those oils and look how golden brown. Well, I burnt my hand right here, so don't, don't, don't do what I did right there. But you see how golden brown it is? That just, that don't look good right there. We're gonna go ahead and transfer it over to our little mini cutting board right here. Look at that cheese. Look how it melted on that thing right there. Go ahead and put your homemade spread on there and spread as much of it as you like. If you don't like a lot of mayo, I wouldn't recommend putting mayo on there. 
Go ahead and add your meat on there. Don't, don't be shy. Add as much meat as you want. What is ramen without a little bit of sriracha? So go ahead and squeeze some of that juicy stuff right there. I'm going to go ahead and add some more green onions right here just to top off the sandwich. Now, I made two soft boiled eggs. I don't need both of them to be on the sandwich, but I want the yolk from the inside of this thing right here on this sandwich right there. So we have pilled it and we're going to just drizzle that yummy yolk on top of that sandwich. Look at that thing right there, Ron Van. Don't. Oh, my God. We're going to put a little bit more mayo on our other slice of bread right here. Carefully place our other soft boiled egg on the top of this sandwich. Place the top of the bread on top right there, Ron fam. Look at this beautiful thing right here. Be careful cutting it down the middle because you want to cut it directly in the middle of that egg so the juices just flow out. And Ron fam, you're left with this beautiful, beautiful, delicious looking sandwich right here. All right, ramen, what'd you think? It's basically all the ingredients that you would normally use to make a bowl of ramen, but it's in sandwich form. This one came out a little bit messier than the one I did over on TikTok, Instagram, and shorts, but uh, let's give it a little taste. Mm. Oh. Man, let me tell you something. It's a sandwich, but it tastes like ramen. The possibilities when it comes to this is literally you can do whatever you want. You can put any kind of meat. You can put some salmon on here. You can do whatever you need. That's what makes this right here so special. Well, there you have it, Ron fam. Please try it for yourself. Let me know what you think. If you do try this recipe, be sure to tag me over on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever you use. And I'll be sure to repost it in my story. Let me know in the comment section below what you think we should call this. Are we just call it a ramen sandwich or what should we call it? So if you want to be featured in this cookbook that we're creating over here, be sure leave a comment down below with your recipe remember i'm still going to do a recipe from the last video that i did but it will be nice to have a recipe to go off of for this video as well if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button it really helps the channel out over here and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified whenever i post more videos like this because you know we got more recipes until next time i'll catch you guys in the next one peace